Today we're going to be using Microsoft Small Basic to make some shapes appear on a screen. Um, to do that in Small Basic, we're going to be using the Turtle module. So to import the Turtle module or make the Turtle appear on the screen, the code you're going to need to write is turtle.show, open bracket, close bracket. We're then going to set the Turtle's speed. So turtle.speed equals eight. That is the average kind of speed um, of the turtle. And it's just kind of showing how quickly to draw the lines. Um, to make the turtle actually make a line appear on the screen or to move forward it is turtle dot move. And then set how many pixels you want to move forward. And we're going to use a hundred pixels. Next thing we want to do is make the pixel or the turtle turn and we're going to make it turn right to the um, 90 degrees. And by using the command um, turtle dot turn, um, it will always turn right unless you set it to a different kind of angle. Um, but we're always setting it to this default angle of turning to the right. And we're going to use 90 degrees. And let's just make it go forward. Um, again, about another 100 pixels. There you go. So if we run that, what it should do is the turtle should move forward. It should then turn 90 degrees to the right and move forward again. Now, obviously, we're trying to make a square right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat these two lines of code a couple more times. There we go. So we've turned, we move forward. We've turned 90 degrees to the right. We move forward again. Turn 90 degrees to the right. Move forward again. Turn 90 degrees to the right and then move forward again. So if you run that, we should have a square being made. There we go. Now, a slightly more advanced programming technique, we're going to use a loop now to do the same thing, but reduce the amount of times we repeat um, the move and turn a bit of code. So if I get rid of that, I'm going to set a variable called I. I'm going to set the value of zero. A variable is like a storage location in your code. It stores values. Um, so in this case, the variable I stores the value zero. Um, the command we use for setting a loop in this instance is going to be a while. So while I is less than four, it's going to repeat the following lines of code. And what I want it to repeat is not turn. You want turtle dot move and then open bracket, close bracket around 100. It's going to move 100 pixels forward. So I'm going to again turtle dot turn. That's going to turn 90 degrees, open bracket, close bracket around that as well. Then to obviously monitor how many times it's going to loop. Um, every single time it loops, we want to do i equals i plus one oh, plus one. So that adds one to the i variable each time it repeats these lines of code. And once the i variable is to the value of four, it will stop repeating this. And the way we kind of stop the loop is using the code end while, and that will obviously make the red exclamation mark go away. Um, and we've now finished our loop. So if we run this just to make sure it works, there we go. We're now drawing the square. We've now used a while loop to reduce the amount of lines that we repeat um, to also make a square.